Playoff positioning is on the line tonight in the final day of the UIL High School Volleyball season, especially in District 28-6A. 12-3 Brandeis taking on 13-2 Reagan at Northside Sports Gym. Reagan in control of this one up two sets to none and battling in the third. Maya Allen drills a spike right down the middle. That ties it up at 10, but the Broncos respond. Off the quick set, Sophia Kuhn brings the hammer down. That gets Brandeis fired up. They take a 15-12 lead. And they strike again, this time off another quick set. Lola Isayev sends a shot to the corner. Brandeis still up 18-14. Rattlers hanging around off Allen's dig. Gabby Reeves calls her own number with a dump shot. Perfect timing and suddenly it's a two point game. But the Broncos close out the set. Isayev gets the push shot to fall. Well placed and Brandeis is right back in it with a 25-22 set win. We head to the fourth and the Broncos carry that momentum into an early lead. Catalina Gutierrez over to Austin. Smoke on the runner. It's blocked, but she stays with it and gets it to fall on the back line. Broncos lead by two. Reagan returns fire. Check out the shot from Anaya Hall. A wicked cross-court kill. Ties it up at 10 apiece, but the Broncos take control of the set with another run. This time Gutierrez finds Samantha Valadez for a shot that deflects in for the kill. 17-14. Then Emma Halstead hits one off the block and down. Halstead had a great night with a team high 20 kills. Brandeis leads 20 to 15. Reagan looking to avoid a fifth set and this will help. Allen gets up for the rejection. She is doing it all tonight and that cuts the deficit down to two points again. But the Broncos pull away again late in this one. On set point, Smoke returns the favor with a thunderous block. If momentum exists, it's wearing blue and orange. Brandeis wins the fourth set, 25-20. We are going five with playoff positioning on the line. Can the Broncos complete the comeback? Reagan says not so fast. First, Allen gets up for another block. Then on the very next point, she absolutely hammers a spike down the line. It's five nothing Rattlers. She's also doing it with off speed stuff. Check this shot out. That makes it 9 0. Momentum switched sides in a hurry. It's now wearing green and white. And the Rattlers cruise from there. First, Katie Hill powers a spike down the middle. Reagan has match point up 14 to nothing. Let's listen in. The Rattlers cut an incredible Broncos comeback off at the knees. They take the fifth set 15 to nothing and win the match three sets to two. Reagan will be the second seed out of 28-6A with a 14 and two record. Have the Rattlers ever experienced a finish like this? Never, like that was surreal. Like it was crazy, just a perfect set with no mistakes. Like I just can't believe we did that, it was, it was amazing. I feel like our serving was really tough. We just got them out of system really well and um, we just took advantage of that and we just all clicked together at the end. I feel like the second and, or the third and fourth set, you know, we just lost momentum, but the fifth set really picked it up again. And congratulations to senior libero Brenna Hefron on recording her 1,000th career dig in the match. Let's keep it in the same district, the fourth and final playoff spot on the line at Littleton Gym. Madison taking on Johnson. Jaguars take control early thanks to some great push shots. Ava Castillo just gets hers over the block and down for a two-point lead. Then next play, Campbell Gass gets her shot to deflect off of Mav and down in the backcourt. Johnson leads 7-4. Madison returns fire. Jaden Jones rips a cross-court kill. That's an incredible shot. It makes it a two-point game again. But the Jags pull away from there. Peyton Moline hits one off the block and down. Johnson takes the first set 25-23. They end up having a chance to close the match out up two sets to one and up 24-21 in the fourth. Let's listen in. Johnson continues with set point. It only takes one and there it is. Johnson wins three sets to one. Thank you to Texas Sports Productions for broadcasting the game. Johnson has punched their tickets to the playoffs. The Jaguars win it three sets to one, sweeping the season series with the Mavericks. Last stop of the night, another huge 2-3 matchup over at MacArthur. The 13-2 Bramas hosting 12-3 Highlands in District 27, 5A. First set is a back and forth battle. Ava Malone sends that one back. Owls lead seven to four early. Bramas show they can do that too. Taylor Alston with a casual one-handed block. That ties the match at seven all. 
Very next point, they keep it going. Aubrey Decent serves up an ace with great placement along the boundary. Run through the tunnel there, it's 8-7 Mac. Highlands not going away quietly. Shelby Devora goes off speed and gets it to drop. That ties it up once again, but MacArthur proves to be too much tonight. Alston with authority. The Bramas win this one three sets to one. They will be the second seed out of 27-5A. Special congratulations go out to several teams completing undefeated regular seasons this year. That includes Davenport at 12-0 in District 27-4A and O'Connor who went 16-0 in 29-6A. The playoffs begin next week with the Bay District Round. You can catch more highlights of the volleyball season as well as water polo and cross country on the BGC page at ksat.com. Just click on the fall sports tile to check them out. We'll see you in the playoffs.